At Good Family, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving filled with food, family, and relaxation. I also hope that you make time to think about all your blessings. When I reflect back on this year and all the blessings for which I have to be thankful, our church is very high on my list. Obviously, this year hasn't been the easiest in our history. The fire in February destroyed our sanctuary, disrupted our plans, and displaced lots of activities. But in the midst of all of that, you have been incredible. In a time when it would have been extremely easy to circle the wagons, turn inward, and focus our attention on ourselves, you have decidedly maintained an outward focus. In a time when it would have been easy to fret about our situation, you certainly face the future knowing that God is with us. The fire may have slowed us down some, but it certainly has not stopped us. Not too long ago, I learned that we are the single largest provider of volunteer hours for Harvest Hope Food Bank, which is also the largest food pantry in the state of South Carolina. That's astounding to me. And Harvest Hope is only one of the many, many ways we are serving our community and making Greenville a better place to live. We haven't stopped giving, and we haven't stopped fishing. Since January 1st, we have welcomed 139 new members of the Advent family and baptized 17 people. Here at Advent, our hearts and our arms are wide open, and I'm so proud to be one of your pastors. In terms of a building update, we really don't have anything new to share. The building committee and the architect are working hard on final plans and blueprints. We should see those at the end of January, and then February will be spent permitting, and March we will break ground again. But while there isn't a lot of news to share about the building, there's plenty to share about the remainder of the year and the Advent and Christmas season that is now upon us. Here are some things coming up in December. On December 10th at 2 p.m. and 5 p.m., we'll host Advent Community Christmas. This is a wonderful and easy opportunity to invite friends, family, and neighbors to share in the Christmas season with us here at Advent. All of our musicians, from choir members, handbells, bands, strings, and brass, have been working very hard on this wonderful musical offering. And I know that you and your friends and family will be blessed by it. Our Christmas Eve schedule will begin with a contemporary service on Saturday, December 23rd at 6 p.m. Then on Sunday, December 24th, we'll have a service at 11 a.m. that's geared for families and children. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll have a traditional service, a contemporary service at 5 p.m., and two more traditional services at 9 and 11. All of these services will include communion. A recent poll indicated that 63% of Americans think that Christmas should include a trip to church, but many of them won't know where to go. You can help them by inviting everyone you know to share Christmas Eve with us. Finally, we're in the habit of giving our Christmas Eve offering away. If you're looking to make your last contribution to Advent on Christmas Eve, we'll ask you to mark it specifically for that purpose, because otherwise our entire offering on Christmas Eve will be used to partner with an organization headquartered here in Greenville called Water of Life. To tell you a little more about Water of Life and what we plan to do here at Advent with our Christmas Eve offering, I want to introduce you to one of our members, Sarah Kelly, who not only grew up at Advent, but continues to serve in faithful ways. Hi, I'm Sarah Kelly, and I am so excited that Advent's partnering with Water of Life this Christmas. Water of Life drills wells in the most impoverished villages on the planet to provide clean drinking water to those who otherwise would not have access. They also spread the good news of Jesus in those remote villages, planting churches, training pastors, and providing audio devices to them with the Bible translated into their own languages. By partnering with Water of Life, Advent will be fishing in ponds most of us will never even have the opportunity to travel. We will not only radically change villages and save lives by offering clean drinking water, we will help Water of Life connect people to the living water of Jesus. It takes $5,000, to dig a well and provide discipleship support for an entire village of up to 2,800 people. We hope to be what Water of Life calls an anchor church by changing the daily realities of people in five to 10 villages and sharing the good news of Jesus with them. If we are able to impact 10 villages, we will transform the lives of 28,000 people. Our Christmas Eve offerings over the past few years have had a tremendous real life impact and this will certainly continue that tradition. I can't wait to see how this year's offering makes an impact globally to the people who need it most. Since I know how generous you are here at Advent, I can't wait to see what God does through our Christmas Eve offering and how we're able to impact water of life and the world. Until then, I look forward to sharing yet another Advent and Christmas season with you.